we're going to now go to the driver where you're going to see different setups with these rods with the golf pucks and we'll assist you in being a better full swing player. So what we're going to do is go through these rods now. This particular rod right here is going to be our feet alignment rod which is ultimately going to be parallel to my path or my target line which is right here. This rod right here is going to direct us to where the ball placement is in our stance as well as our club face angle at address. This rod actually tells us where our foot angle is and placement in relationship to my ball placement rod. This particular rod is used sometimes if a person has challenges on their downswing path to swing more out towards the right for a right-handed player instead of coming outside in. Okay, now we're going to talk about our posture. When we place the club, which we recommend placing the club and aiming it first and then aligning our body and feet, what we want is that butt of that club, extension of the shaft going right through your belt buckle, is the ultimate. We want to be slightly flexed in the knees and have our armpits almost over the instep or balls of the feet. We do not want to be here, nor do we want to be fully erect here. So this helps us with our setup. We also recommend the balance on your feet between the balls and the instep of your feet, which will assist you with your knee flex. This right arm is going to be a little bit more underneath, and I'm going to have what we call a secondary spine tilt, where I'm going here so I can hit up on the ball to get optimum distance and club head speed. Especially since the ball is already airborne, I don't have to worry about getting it airborne. So what you can do once you've determined which setup and how far away from the ball you are in your posture, you can take a magic marker and mark these rods accordingly so that you can set these up again and be constant with your ball setup. Now as far as the ball from this rod to this rod, I would suggest taking another rod and just determining the distance between this and this. And that way you can set up your ball in a consistent pattern each time, especially with the driver. To me, the three most important clubs in your bag are going to be the driver, the putter, and the wedge. So the putter being number one, driver number two, and the wedge is number three in that order as far as importance in your golf game scoring. So again, once we set up to it, we can mark these rods to say, okay, this is where I need them for my correct posture once I'm hitting the driver real well and I want to repeat that. Okay, this vertical rod is a good indicator of where you're at at impact when the club comes through and hits the ball. Also, we would like to have that camera, if you're going to videotape yourself, your video camera right off this ball placement rod and this vertical rod so you can get a clear picture of the whole swing especially the most important part, which is impact. To me, one of the most critical areas that I see in working with a student is going to be their hand position here and their takeaway to where the club is parallel to the ground. You're going to see a lot of tour players working on this. So in other words, we want it right along that line there. Club face can be what we call just a little bit shut. Some players have it here. Most of them have it here. Now the reason we want that there and we want that camera positioned right along the hand line is that we can really view the swing path. If we have the camera over here where the ball is, everything looks inside. So the camera angle is hugely important as well as the takeaway. Here's what we see a lot of the times and you'll see this on our library of videos at golfpucks.com is that a lot of players take it too far inside here 
Now, the only way they can return to the ball is outside in. Some, very few, might take it out here, and then they have to reroute it to come very inside, such as a Jim Furyk. But again, everybody is different. Everybody is different in their build, and we got to take all that in consideration as well as physical challenges or limitations. Okay, now we're going to go into our shorter irons, which you can see is the difference between this seven iron and the driver. Basically using almost the same posture, but we're going to be much closer to the ball, aren't we? Just because it's a driver doesn't mean we stick it way out here. Just because it's a seven iron, we move it close in here. We still have the same relationship of the club to our body. Here's what we've got. We've got a seven iron and a driver. Notice I don't change my hands in relationship to my feet or my body, but since the club is that much shorter, the ball's going to be that much closer to my body. Okay, these pucks can be moved easily. I take this out, it's easier for me. Loosen this knob up, and then I just slide this up. And I'm going to kind of give it a good guesstimate right now and see how that looks. And I'm going to put this rod back here. And since it's a seven iron, I'm going to loosen this up a little bit. I'm going to have the ball not so far forward in my address position. I'm going to tighten it there and let's see how that looks. Yep, that looks pretty good. Notice my ball position is a little bit more toward the middle of my stance, not so far off the inside of my left because the ball I need to do more of a descending blow to get it airborne. So with this again, I have this rod right over my hands. I can check my first movement going back, which I want that plane right here, and then upward. I do not want it in here. So that looks pretty good. That was pretty good. See how I took a slight turf out of there? So what's great about this golf puck system, I can just move this. So I'm just going to move this a little bit back. Perfect. I find that the four puck system works very well for beginners in knowing where their position is so they can build up some repetitions with their muscle memory and start hitting the ball correctly. I myself prefer a three puck system because I already know where my foot position is so I can easily take this puck off and just work with that. This golf puck system is very easy to use. You have two ports on the bottom two ports on the top, these twist around, all you got to do is put your rod through there, rod through there, make them any angle you want, you can have these parallel if you like, and these little numbers right up here will help you with that, or you can even make them perpendicular, or any angle you want, and just tighten them down. So simple to use. This concludes our full swing golf puck setup, and we like to advise you to see your golf professional because everyone has their different physical limitations, challenges, and also might have some idiosyncrasies that that golf professional can assist you with to get the optimum results.